This is the show of record. The Dan York Show on the voice of Southern New England. News Talk 630 and 99.7 FM WPRO. You know, think of I Love New York. It's not, you know, or pure Michigan. It's not in the logo. It's what you do with the logo. And we are going to have a great... Um, for the first time ever, a statewide comprehensive marketing plan. Uh, already we're seeing results, and I'm confident it's going to create a lot of jobs. I, I, I don't know what the results are. What are they? Can you show them to me? What, what results? You just you just introduced this plan, Governor. Oh, man. You know, I want to clarify something that I said. Welcome in, by the way, hour number two. We're going to join uh, Carl Waddenston from the Commerce Board here in just a second. Uh, guys, uh, or Tyler, d- d- tee up the, the governor's three minutes, though. I want I want uh, Carl to be able to hear it. I want everyone to be able to hear it, uh, and I'll play it for a second. Well, I just want to clarify something I said prior to the the one o'clock news. You know, when I when I expressed my uh, my my core resentment for the governor over her her lack of leadership in ending the boycott here at WPRO, so that she and members of her administration could freely interact with you, that that is a real frustration. And I've talked about it on and off for years now. Um, when the governor makes a good decision, I say so. When the governor says something smart, I say so. I'm not picking on the governor because I'm angry with her. My my reflection was, and I want to make this clear, because I got an email from a guy who was always you know, harping on, on the idea that this place is too negative, meaning the state and, and this radio show is too negative. Uh, the negativity is built in. And when you're leading a place that you know is inclined to be negative, you need to. There's there's got to be an inclusion process. And what I, I really do believe in a lot of ways that this boycott thing that the governor has allowed to just kind of define some of her communication stuff. She has she has developed a, a kind of an innate in, in instinctive rationale that she does not have to be inclusive and interactive with you her down boycott her and when she can't get her message out you know in in a major media in this in this community maybe maybe she'll think twice about it the problem is that hurts you and so it's a rock and a hard place um, but my anger and i have significant anger for the governor isn't a personal thing and it doesn't. It, it, it's 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 a professional, personal thing. Do you know? You understand that? I'm mad for you. I'm mad for me. I'm mad for everybody. It doesn't affect our business. Our business is fine. You know, talk radio is a is a is a mean medium sometimes. Anyway, so you can sit here and beat the living tar out of public officials, and everyone loves it. And you know, you make a lot of money doing it. So whatever. That's not what I'm. That's not where I want to be. But you'd think that the governor would be accessible after she you know, p- puts one of these things out and, and, and talks with you here about it. And she doesn't. And it kind of guides what she does. And I'll talk more about this. I mean, what should have happened in this whole thing is some kind of public discussion about about objectives. There should have been some, some qualifying uh, ad campaigns that she let everybody in on. There should have been a little bit more inclusion. And then when the final decision was made, it shouldn't have been made at 4 o'clock in the afternoon at the Commerce Board. It should have been made in grander style with a whole set of circumstances and a whole set of object, uh, objectives and a whole set of data and a whole set of, of, of marketing plans and a whole, you know, a whole presentation to the world in gala fashion. But here's the thing. It's only a $5 million nut, which isn't going to get us anywhere. So don't get, don't get upset about it. All right, let, let's hear, let's hear um, what she had to say, and then I want to grab Carl because I know he's got some things he wants to say. We've gotten a lot of uh, viewers and listeners saying that they are not too happy with the cooler, warmer, and I'm curious to see your reaction to that. You know, I think that's inevitable. Uh, Some people will like it, some people won't like it. Uh, I think it's great, but here's the important thing. The the important thing is what we do with it. You know, that's a logo. Some people will like it, some people won't. We did a lot of focus groups. We hired one of the best guys in the business to do it. We think it's terrific. You know, think of I Love New York. It's not... You know, or pure Michigan. It's not in the logo. It's what you do with the logo. And we are going to have a great, um, for the first time ever, a statewide comprehensive marketing plan. Uh, already we're seeing results. And I'm confident it's going to create a lot of jobs, bring a lot of tourists, bring businesses here, and be an important piece of the puzzle in revitalizing the economy. Stop the tape for a second. What does that mean? 
It's not the logo. It's what you do with the logo. I, I, I'm sorry, Governor. That is just a stupid thing to say. It's just a stupid, stupid, stupid thing to say. Of course it has to do with the logo. You see, this is notion that she can speak above us. Hey, you dummies. It's not the logo. It's what we do with the logo. Just sit tight. Cooler, warmer. You'll get it eventually. Watch the magic. And then she'll report back on the magic. With no data. Just like it's already working. It was introduced yesterday. <laughs> Keep going. What does cooler and warmer mean to you? It means it's a cool place to be. Uh, and so young people ought to think about coming to Rhode Island, visiting Rhode Island, living in Rhode Island, starting business in Rhode Island, because we're cool and we're hip, uh, we're entrepreneurial, uh, and it's warm. It's a fun place to visit in the summer. We have great beaches, but it's also a warm culture. You know, Rhode Island embraces people, so you ought to come here, visit here, start a business here, keep your family here. Um, Stop the tape. So this is, this is, is that true? It's a warm culture? All right, I think we need to do a little self-evaluation. Look, I love it here. But are, are we known for our warmth? And when you're, when you're away and people say, how's Rhode Island living? It's very warm, very warm culture. Really? Is that what you say? <laughs> okay, so now we're, now we're going to put a characteristic on the state. You know, whether it's true or not, not necessarily important. Keep rolling. Um, so this is this is the one. It's not like they're going to go back to the drawing Right. No, no. This is the one. Yeah. And it's a $5 million um, initiative. What's the breakdown? Someone said that the, lo the logo and the slogan was about a million. Is that correct? No, no, no. It was a few hundred thousand dollars to do that. And then the, the bulk of the money will be put mainly into advertising and marketing. A combination of billboards, uh, digital advertising, uh, to really get the word out so people come to Rhode Island. You know, I have to say, as governor, when I travel, I go, like, um, and I see in New York City's Penn Station, the train station, there's signs everywhere, come visit Philadelphia or come visit Boston. It's our turn now. You know, come visit Rhode Island. We have a lot to offer. We all love Rhode Island. Let's share it with the rest of the country and help our economy in the process. Can you give us an exact number for how much is advertising? Well, it's the $5 million number. Uh, yeah, the vast majority of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. I don't know. Are those planning like, are those going to be coming down? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Well, yes, uh, yes. We don't really have the resources to do TV ads. So you'll see here in Rhode Island TV ads for Pure Michigan or Come Visit California. We don't have the money to do that. But as you know, digital advertising is just as effective and much less expensive. So we'll be doing a number of that. We already have a video up on um, CNN, which is going to be uh, on airplanes. You know, so sometimes when you take off, you see the video, come visit Rhode Island. So we're going to have to be really creative because we don't have a lot of money. But we're going to get a big bang for our buck. Uh, Thank you. Thank she doesn't even know whether this thing is going to be... You know, we have signs in and out of the state of Rhode Island. Discover beautiful Rhode Island. She laughs at the question. Well, I don't know. Oh, God bless us. Newsmaker line. He's a member of the Commerce Corporation, and he's a business owner here in, 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 in the great state. Carl Waddenston uh, has thoughts on this. What was your instinct when you saw this new branding logo? Hey, Dan. Um, well, the logo piece, and I spoke up at the meeting, too. This is what I said at the meeting. I'll give you my take on it. That, you know, I've, I've studied marketing, and we have to market our company, and I know a little bit about design and, and flair. And so they didn't get an emotional connection to it. And the logo really is the brand identity. And then the slogan, I didn't understand the slogan, cooler and warmer. So we went into, Betsy Wall went into a narrative about what the slogan meant, the, the hipper, the Who's Betsy the Wall? Betsy Wall is the chief marketing officer for the Commerce Corp. She came from Massachusetts, okay. 
and she did travel and tourism there and a bunch of other things, right? Yeah. So once she got into the explanation, I said, I need an elevator pitch because I travel around the country, and I really love Rhode Island. I love all the, the great things. I love all the quirky things, and we got a lot of, of, of strong points and a lot of things we need to work on. But if I have to explain to people what cooler, warmer means, <laughs> I just lost them in the elevator. They're like, all right, next topic. And I've been listening to you this afternoon and listening to some of the callers, and I can answer some of your questions from sitting through the meeting last night and all the data that we got. But the piece is maybe I'm missing something somewhere, Dan. You know, I'm 55 now. Am I missing something here with the, with the logo and the slogan? Because that's a, a portion, and for me it's a big portion of the whole program. But the program that they put together, Dan, after sitting on Commerce Board and formerly EDC for eight, nine years now, almost ten years, is one of the best I've ever seen. It's one of the best I've ever seen. What do you mean? The, the comprehensiveness of the, of the marketing plan, because it's great you have a logo. Yeah, well, we, a we, 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 what are you going to do with Where's it? the plan published? The plan's published. I have it all here. You want me to email it to you? Yeah, I'm, yeah. You want to see my bird? Yeah, could you email it to me? Where, where, to where is the governor's presentation about the marketing plan? You mean the governor personally, or the thing this, that the, I have the, in my this, hand? Let from, me tell you something. Yeah, if I'm a member of the Commerce Board, I look at the governor and say, "What the hell is this? Did you see this for the first time as the public was seeing it for the first time through the lens of the press?" Yes. Yeah. First of all, that's ridiculous. That's insulting to the Commerce Board members who are well, there. I would have liked to give some feedback. But oh, you know. oh, you, oh, you think so? So, <laughs> so, 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 so that's just that. That's insulting to the Commerce Board members. That's number one. Number two, it's kind of it's it's part of the way she does business. Now you're all impressed by the entire marketing plan. I can't wait to see it. Yeah. But the notion that 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 the the, the, the it, it, listen the 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 logo and branding and slogan are the foundational content uh, of this entire this entire plan. So whatever whatever they're doing with the five million dollars, uh, I, I I'm sure I'll be fascinated by all the incredible breakdown of, of and, and, and efficient use of blah 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 target marketing blah 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 blah. I saw the minute forty nine video. That's an internal marketing message. We are Rhode Island. We should feel better about about each other. It's got nothing to do with selling somebody in Poughkeepsie to come here. No. So, so let me tell you one piece that was eye-opening for me, that you don't know what you don't know, the slogan, you don't know what you don't know, is that more people are looking at their mobile devices, and when Betsy said, you know what, it's got to fit in a mobile device space, and we're challenged in our own company with that, Dan, and maybe there's this new trend of the way people are doing things. I, I'm not playing I'm not playing an advocate for it. I'm not playing, you know, the, the cynical piece. Uh, I, I'm just I'm just... You're talking about format. Yeah, the format, you know, and you know... Mobile Content devices. and format are two different things. Yeah, and, and you need to... You need to this is the best, I'm telling you, this is the best, most comprehensive plan that we've seen in nine, ten years. There's no doubt. There's because no we problem. haven't had a plan in nine, ten years. Oh, yeah, but you're yelling at me. That's like, that's like me saying, Carl, you're, listen, well, I'm not yelling at you. You're my buddy. <laughs> it's like me saying, it's like me saying, oh, my God. It's like me saying uh, to my father-in-law, yeah, okay, I'll go fishing with you. And I catch a fish. And I'll say, man, that is incredible. I haven't caught that many fish in ten years. You know why? Because I haven't fished in ten years. <laughs> Well, we're fishing now, and we better catch a boatload of fish because we put five million bucks on. You know what our budget was previously for doing this stuff? It was like seven, eight hundred thousand dollars. That's it. And our neighboring states were were twelve million, seven million, and like eight or nine million. You know, for New Hampshire, Mass, and Connecticut. So we're in a game, and they're you know they're they're trying to do it i thought milton glazer personally the i love new york as soon as i say that slogan i start i love new york remember they're singing that it goes right to my head and then how many spin-offs do they have i love tennis i love basketball i love you know xyz the guy hit a home run so i figured we'd get a home run with rhode island that i'd see something from milton glazer that i'd look at it and say you know what Maybe I didn't like it at the beginning. But. Well, well, then go. Well, listen. If you want to make yourself feel better, just do this. 
cooler what? and warmer. <laughs> cooler <laughs> and warmer. <laughs> Wait, let me flip it. Warmer and cool. Oh no, that doesn't work either. Uh, uh, yeah, and the colors. You know, the, yeah, you know, you know the term one hit wonder. Yeah, oh yeah. yeah, oh yeah. Well, that's Milton. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, clearly, yeah. that's Milton. Yeah, mm-hmm. and 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 you know there is a lot. Of, there, everything the governor said it right. Not everybody likes everything, and I know that we do stuff here at our company, and and then I wonder why the hell we did it when I get the feedback. But you try and avoid that too. You try and ride that down and try and get the best consensus possible. And most Rhode Islanders today, I've been listening to the radio and looking at the blogs and the tweets and everything else. People have different perceptions of this, and and there's more no's than likes, but we've already gone down this path, Dan. We're marching. We're marching. What is the purpose of your message today? My purpose? Yes. My purpose of my message today. (laughs) I'm trying to figure out what you're trying to say. (laughs) I don't know myself. It's almost as if I'm listening to my friend Carl Waddenston, the only guy to vote no on 38 Studios, the one who's former of the Rhode Island Economic Development Corporation a clear thinker and an independent guy, actually trying to say, I know it sucks, but I want to be nice because we got to do something, and you know what, we can't just say it sucks, and so I'm just going to step up and say, I know you got questions, I do too, I don't know what it means, but we just got a one for all, one for all, one for all, because I like to be a cheerleader. That's what your whole message is. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm trying to be, you know what, Tim? <laughs> You know, I, 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 I like I liken this the logo getting getting the logo sprung on me to walking home and my wife just rearranged all the furniture in the house and everything and I walk in and go oh man what just happened <laughs> and then if I say the wrong word my wife is not going to talk to me for a month right and I better shut up and say honey it looks great yep well but and and we shouldn't play like that with the state but. Some of the other other pieces that the web presence, the blogging, and that I'm hoping that those people really give clarity to the logo and the okay. and the slogan. All right. Well, you know what? Send me the plan. But uh, 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 listen, I'm short on time. You're my you're my, you're my man. Thank you, Carl. Appreciate it. Yeah, yeah.